one of the first things I do if I can find my flashlight back out of my holster here and you can actually see that's shiny right in there where that air hits at that air's got to come around there in my mind anyhow you guys can correct me I'll blend this off and I'll blend this corner here off that's the first things I'm going to do where that air can get from the bottom end of this down here where the crankshaft's at well crankshaft's up here too but where this air can get up them transfers that's my main thing on these clamshells is just doing shape work gotta stay away try not to hinder that uh, uh, yeah impulse tube we just take our time my favorite time to do this here is on a Sunday. Uh, get done with everything else. It's just relaxing to come out here. It's kind of my Sunday winter time thing. And I do it through the week too some, but on Sundays, uh, it's just enjoyable. So I come out here and Start porting on these cylinders a little bit. Working on chainsaws. Actually, I don't like the mechanic on chainsaws, to be honest about it. I'm getting a little better at it. I've had to. Uh, not every one of them you get is a good runner. It just needs port work. So I've had a mechanic on them a little bit. Now you can see just in that short amount of time there, I've took that hump off there. That's rougher than a cob. That's okay, we're just hogging. And that's that's changed that from that hump there where the air has to get that and it shoots it. We've we've slowed that transition down, helped that transition out. Air can get up in there better now. And it didn't take just two or three minutes to do that. Each one of those little bitty things will add up. Add up into something, something substantial. I'm just running real light right now. Just barely running on it. And just kind of smoothing that back out. I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily want it smooth as in glass. But now it's got all them big ridges. Just backed off on the pressure. Don't have any pressure on it to speak of. And just run back and forth, and that slick that right up. We'll do the other side. These little clamshell motors. A lot of people think they ain't worth doing. And you know what? They may be right. But if you're like me and don't know any better, you can, you can take you a little cheap MS250. You can get some good power out of an MS250. Um, 290. You can get a lot of good power out of a 290. Two ninety and three ten and three ninety is all the same platform. Uh, you got two ninety, you can put a three ninety cylinder and piston on it, which is generally what I do. And my three ninety, well, it's a three ten. It pulls point eight inch bar pretty good. One of my subscribers. Talk to him on the phone every once in a while. He's got a three uh, two ninety. He wants to suit up. He's gonna have to get a hold of me, or he's gonna freeze to death this winter waiting on it. I guess it'll cut how it is, but they ain't no fun to cut that way. I don't like it. Once you run a ported saw, even a cheap ported saw like I got. Boy, you awful bad.
Now, I don't do much on this side. You can see them transfers are angled, or that they're cut up in that way. So the air is flowing this way and it's catching it and running it up. I don't do too much on this corner back here. Uh, just a little bit. Not near as much as I'll do on this corner. I'll show you guys catch up with it here in a minute. If I can get this thing just where I want. I usually have my pliers over here. That's no iron horse trick. He, he showed me and everybody else in the world that. And here I am without my pliers over here. If anybody's curious, no, I haven't. I haven't had anybody hand to hand show me how to do this. Everything I've got, I've got from everything I learned, I learned from people like Iron Horse and Tin Man and uh, you know, Bell Hopper. All them, all them guys that I watch, spend a lot of time watching them. So they had an interest in it, man, they're all real good guys to watch. Um, I don't know. They wouldn't know me from they wouldn't know me from sick of them, and I'm not trying to horn in on what they're doing because I'm not even in the same hemisphere as them guys. Uh, them guys know their stuff. You're just watching a hack right here. I used to pull tractors and people, I'd do stuff to engines. People say, well, I, that'll never work. Well, same way with this. I got my own ideas on some of this stuff, and they give me the basics, and I run with that. We're going to start blending this corner in right here where that air has to come around. That air comes up out of the bottom of this motor. This is the bottom. And it's got to make it into those slots. Those are the transfers. It's going to make it into those slots so that air can make it up on top of the piston. While that piston's coming down, it's pushing that air, compressing it. It squeezes up like Play-Doh through a deal and right up in there. We want to, I want to relieve these corners off so that air can get into them transfers better and it don't slow it down. I don't have so much turbulence there. Turbulence ain't necessarily a bad thing a little bit keep your fuel and suspension but you don't want turbulence so much that it's slowing you uh, hindering your air movement and there's quite a bit of hog in here I might well just uh, I might well just shut you off here and, uh, show you what I got here when I get down here in a minute now I got one side of this started here let me get back here where I can see what you guys can see. You can see I've taken that corner off. Hopefully I'm not blinding it too bad. Uh, there was the, there's the factory corner right here. You can see how that's sharp and squared off. The air can't get around that good. This here side you can see it's no longer sharp and it it directs that air right up into them transfers. Didn't take that much metal, and I tried try to smooth that out pretty good. Uh, I'll do the other side. Get back with you here in just a second. Now we can see what I've done here. Uh, it used to have a sharp corner like that. <clears throat> now I've relieved those corners. You can see where I've ground at. Now that air will flow up in them transfers. You want to make both sides even too, guys, by the way. Uh, if you get one side uneven, well, your chainsaw cut crooked that way towards the bad side. See, it won't pull as hard on that side of the saw. So, yeah, make sure they're even or your saw won't cut straight. You guys don't believe that, do you? We're going to do some more transfer work. Uh, when you're doing those, try to stay out of that bearing pocket there. Uh, well, you better do more than try, but I try, I, and I don't undercut it very much. On the outside, we don't have much meat right here. A guy can blow through that if he's not careful right there. That's, that's not very thick in between there and the outside of that. You don't want to blow through that, and you don't really want to weaken that bearing pocket 
and besides that that there's that bearing when we put that together that bearings all got this whole area filled up anyhow so the air is going to have to go under that bearing when this engine's together that bearing's sitting here anyhow the air can't get anything up here is not in the way anyhow there's no sense undercutting that bearing because that bearing's going to be in there right in the way uh, of any air uh, so that's not doing as much good anyhow i'm going to relieve this other side and i'm going to do just a little bit of work on that uh old deal there whatever you want to call that that separates transfers i do just a little bit of work to that too and i'll show you that here in just a few minutes okay we've about got the the leading edge going into the transfers done we've about got the lower case work done i guess what you'd call it if you <coughs> had a solid come apart you can see how we've taken that corner off that air can now that air fuel mixture can come up out of that crankcase go right up into them transfers uh, on the back side no uh, we took that corner off just a little bit you see that's angled that way there so that air is going to come in there and hit that sharp corner and head up that way uh, this piston has a port in it that'll let that air also go on beyond this and here and get on this and here now I've worked on this other side a little bit you'll see that I've actually the same my battery's going to go dead on my headlight you can see I've got just a little bit of area there I took it out that's a bearing support but I carved me just a little bit of area just to get a little bit more a little bit more air back here this other transfer that seems to help uh, I'm going to do that the other side and then we'll do a little bit of upper transfer work in there I believe just all I want to do is angle them up just a smidgen I'm going to work on that other transfer here that bridge is in between them I'm going to work on that just a little bit here don't know if you guys can see it or not a lot of times I'll pour it over a roll of paper towels I'll just lay a, about a half a roll of paper towels down and you can smish that down off any of you guys into any of that other stuff where you use sandbags and whatnot you'll understand what I'm saying I can, I can lay that I can lay that down in a paper towel like a like one of them long things in a sandbag and uh, you get a pretty good secure deal on it well I know I'm having trouble I ain't got my glasses on how come I ain't got my glasses on oh my goodness that's, that looks better uh, I don't imagine I'm even going to change port timing at all on here and the way the intake boot the way the intake is and the way the muffler is on there I doubt I'll even do anything to the exhaust slow down there Earl we ain't ready to pour it yet I'm about like that guy sitting there at stop sign with his foot on the gas and foot on the brake I got my foot on the gas down there and that baby there wants to go simmer down simmer down there now just stay I've got to change that up. I've got to work on this. I like, I do like trying to get both of them side to side. Of course, you guys know I was just funning you on the sawing sideways. Uh, somebody will probably tell me what a moron I am and how I ought to be serious, but. Oh, that's alright. Gonna be time to fire up the ultrasonic cleaner here pretty soon. And then while it's warming up because I've cleaned it out I had it full of had it full of methanol I don't remember what I was cleaning last but I just went and dumped all the methanol out we'll probably put soap water and uh, different solution in there oh I know what I was doing yeah but anyhow yeah I had methanol in it that makes a pretty good cleaner tell me what you guys like for those ultrasonic cleaners for this kind of stuff I've not used this for this I haven't had it that long I bought it 
I'll figure not using on chainsaw stuff, but that's not the main purpose I bought it. They're pretty good on brass brass items, we'll say. And uh, I'll just some do that it's like this and that. I'm gonna blow this out to show it to you guys. You can see we're making it around this corner good. Got just a little bit extra right in here. So that air can get in there. I believe the air, the crankshaft's rotating this way. And it's pulling the air. Most of the air is going to come into the transfer from this side, in my opinion. I could be wrong. Guys, correct me. But that's that's how I do my port work with that in my mind. Uh, and basically, I do both sides the same way. And that, to me... There, there's some other stuff to do. I'm not gonna like I say I'm not even gonna change port timing on here So we're done with that. I'm gonna do these Transfers right in here. I'm gonna angle them up just a smidge which will probably change them Oh a degree or so But I'm not gonna I've got uh, Whatever it was 20 some degrees of blow down. So we're good on that. We got the angle grinder on with a little bitty Christmas tree trip Christmas easy for you to say Christmas tree tip that gets me just enough I can cut I'm cutting the bite up in there on that and I can change him angle just a little bit you won't be able to see in there I'll bring you back let's throw this in there I'll get everything else cleaned up and we may be ready to go back together here pretty soon I called away on a backhoe job last night so next morning here it's sat in the old sonic cleaner for the old a while but it sat in there overnight but it, it cleaned for however long I had to set the timer at uh, I'll show you guys it's about ready to go back together uh, I've got my surfaces clean got the uh, bottom end cleaned out I didn't take the piston off maybe I should have but I'm just doing a quick and dirty job here uh, I'll show you guys this port work that I've done on this we'll see if that makes any difference I don't know I don't know if I got any before cuts on this saw or not but we'll do we'll do some with it here running in this video I'm sure uh, it probably won't be today I like letting this sealer set for a day uh, and that'd be a good thing for Sunday fun day uh, without further ado let me show you this port work you guys probably want to see that Now hopefully, hopefully you can see the contrast. Uh, hopefully I'm not blinding it. I've taken this corner off. I've taken these corners off right here and there. They were sharp. Uh, I've got this. I've got this uh, hump taken out of there. <clears throat> it's got a smoother transition. Uh, it can get right up into this transfer here and I've notched this just a little bit and get just a little bit more air in that bike transfer now the transfer has got to come up they're coming in from this way the air's coming in but it's it, it hits here and it turns and it's pointed towards this intake side and that air meets on this intake side you want it to meet in the middle uh, and then it hits there and starts going out the exhaust chases that exhaust out you can see I've messed with the top transfers just a little bit you can see they got a little bit wider and shinier here than here that's because I angled them I angled them up all the way across but I angled this leading edge up a little bit more plus from looking at the wash pa uh, pattern on the piston I thought they ought to be angled just a hair bit more I, I, I broke this edge right there at the bottom and up just a little bit just to let it push this way just a little bit I just a couple thousands but it felt like it was going to do the air some good hopefully we can see that good uh, I've done that on both sides trying to make them even I want I want those I want this side and this side to meet right here in the middle I don't want this side being ahead of that side so it meets somewhere over here trying to center that wash pattern up there uh let's get this thing put together all right everybody we got the three uh 325 chain on i didn't have a 3 8 sprocket to fit this size of drive got them in a couple different sizes but not this one got three ace 
uh, semi chisel on there, just firewood chain. Got some dry white oak here, or white oak. Who am I kidding? Dead ash. It's dry. Uh, hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's not pithy, cause I'm not trying. I'm not trying to pretend I got a sharp chain or nothing else. Matter of fact, this chain's the one I took off of it before I ported it. Uh, you can see the port work I did. You guys seen that? Nothing to the intake, nothing to the exhaust, nothing to change timing. Uh, have not adjusted the carburetor. Haven't even started it yet since I let the uh, silicone dry. You guys and me, we're going to see together. I'll probably warm it up just a little bit here on this light stuff. And then we'll get to adjusting on her. Let's see if she'll take. One, two, hey, there's the sign. say we're going to need a little bit of adjustment but we can do that low sides turned off all the way I wonder why that is one and a quarter I'll bet that'll help see where the high jets at it was about as bad we're gonna start that off someplace better well that was embarrassing Stroke could quite enough suit me to run a him to run a dual chain. Just died. There. Just died. I didn't, there. Kill, I didn't, kill, it. I didn't kill it. So we're going to so get another squeak. Another squeak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I can find it, if I can find it. What boy? What happy, boy? Is he? happy is he? There it was. There it was.
Uh, of course, I wasn't trying to show off chain sharpener or nothing else. That's that's the old chain I just put it on there. Uh, just the port work. It does pull better than it did before. Uh, I think that'll be happy with it. Be a lighter saw, easier to start, and be good for that smaller wood like this. Uh, instead of packing around a heavier saw, I've got a 660 clone and a 440 Magnum steel and a 390 steel ported. Uh, this isn't trying to compete with him. This is just making use of the size and the power we got to make it run just a little bit better for size to weight ratio or power to weight ratio. Appreciate you watching. Guys, have a good time. I'll catch you next time.